Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video. It is freezing cold out here, you can't even see me because of the sun. It is freezing cold today. I was planning today on doing some work on the Fiesta. There's some actual real serious work that needs to be done to the Fiesta but I feel like it's just too cold and it looks like it's about to rain. The clouds are very grey. Um, so today I am bringing you yet another LED light install. Now don't go anywhere just yet. I know I've done a few of these over the last few months um, and I know they're boring, I know they're tedious, but this one today is a little bit different. So the kind folks over at Bosler, I think is how it's pronounced, or Bosler, have sent me out some LED headlight bulbs to install on one of my cars. However, these are not just any old LED bulbs. These ones apparently, I haven't tried them yet, they apparently change color. At the flick of a switch, you can go from a white 6,500K to a yellow 3,000K headlight bulb. This is the box here, this is what it looks like. It's got a picture of what the bulbs look like on the front. Got a few details on the side about what sort of bulbs they do. There's the brand right there. This here is a picture of what the bulbs are supposed to look like in their different variations. So you've got the 6,500K white here, You've got a 4300K, which is in the middle, uh, slightly yellowish tint there, which is like a normal halogen bulb. And then you've got the 3000K yellow tint on the side. And then they even have the fourth option. The fourth option, they flash almost like a hazard light. Um, so if you're broken down or stuck in the snow or something like that, they will flash and they are much brighter than what a normal indicator bulb is. So let's go ahead and get out of this cold. Let's go into the shed where it's nice and warm. Um, unbox these, see what the bulbs look like get them installed on one of the cars. I'm probably going to install them on the Astra because these are H7 and it's one of the only cars that I have that takes H7 bulbs. So I'm going to install them on the Astra, see how they look, see how they function. And then I'll also come out here again and look at them tonight when it gets dark and give you a idea of what they look like at night time as well because um, that's quite important. So just as I walked into my shed, I don't know if you can hear it, you probably can't hear it on the camera, but it has just started raining outside. So installing these is not gonna be much fun with it raining, so I might have to wait for half an hour for it to go by. Um, but whilst I do that, let me show you something else that they sent me. Right here on my workbench, they sent me out a t-shirt, which is awesome. I didn't know they were gonna do that. And they also sent me out a, a Bosler flat cap. It's got their little logo on the back, look, the little frog. That is cool. I always wear snapbacks, so that is a pretty cool little feature. Um, they sent me out a large, which should be all right. The t-shirt's got their little logo on the sleeve there, and it's got it, oh, on the front and on the back. So on the front, it says Bosler. And on the back, you've got the frog. I do like the logo. The little frog is pretty cool. Um, and then on the back, it says Bosler as well, which is pretty neat. I should probably wear this while I do it, but I'll be wearing a hoodie over it so you won't see it, and it's too cold just to wear a t-shirt. So with that out of the way, stick these to the side. Let's go ahead and unbox these, and I'll show you what the bulbs look like. So with the lid off the box, there's really not a lot to this. You've just got the bulbs themselves in there and then these little ballast type things. You know with HID kits, you get these little ballasts. It's almost what they're like. I don't know if they're a heat sink or what they actually do. But I will say off the bat, build quality is awesome. These things are made of metal, not plastic. They feel like pretty decent quality. And then the cables on the end, this one will plug into your normal wiring harness. And then this one will plug into the bulb itself. You have then got the bulbs in here as well with the fan on the back. I don't like that the fan is not enclosed. I wish there was like a something over the back here because you could easily catch your finger on that. I know you wouldn't be dealing with these while they're on anyway. Um, but just in case for safety, it'd be nice to have a little mesh over here just to stop people from catching their fingers on them just in case their hands were near these and they, they uh, caught the finger on that, that probably would hurt. So this is the bulb itself. Um, it's sort of an interesting design. It's got this, like this glass case over it. I don't know if you take that off or whether that stays on there. I'm not entirely sure. But they're a cool design, half silver, half gold. So yeah, kind of cool looking bulbs then. So the bulb's now unboxed, I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to install them on the Astra. It looks like the rain has probably stopped about now. The clouds are a little bit gray, but I think we can get away with installing on the car. I'm gonna quickly show you how to install them. Super easy, just like installing any other bulb. Um, I've showed you how to install LED bulbs before, but the most important thing is I wanna see how these things work. So I guess just before I change them, I'll just show you what the standard halogen bulbs look like. Sort of yellowish color, like so. 
And then I'm now gonna go ahead and get these things installed. Slight change of plan. The Astra's headlights, I forgot, are like a different style. Um, they got like this bulb holder. They are H7 bulbs, as you can see, but they've got like a bulb holder which screws in, so there's no other way of putting LED bulbs in this car without changing it to just a normal bulb. So I think instead, what we'll do is we'll do it on the Corsa. Right, so I'll quickly show you on the Corsa now. Standard headlight bulb, quite yellow, quite boring, not very bright. There you go. Now I think this is probably gonna work out better for me anyway, installing these bulbs on the Corsa because, because like with all LED headlight bulbs, I don't recommend fitting them on normal reflector housings like these ones on the Astra. Um, I only recommend them for projector lights. They are very bright and they do blind other road users, so just be careful of that. Don't install them in cars that have got reflector housings, only cars that have got projector housings. So like most other LED bulbs, you see the bit, this black piece here, this does come off. And what you do is you mount that in the light first. Okay, so I've managed to install the driver's side one. I did find it a little bit difficult to find enough space to fit all this wiring and stuff in from the bulb, like the little ballast or heat sink or whatever it is and all that stuff. I found it a little bit difficult to find the space, but it's all in there now. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna turn her on and we'll see what the colors look like and then we'll cycle through the four different functions um, and see what they all look like. Okay, so that is the lights on in their first position. As you can see, the light is nice and white. It's a nice color. Um, doesn't look like it does on camera. It's like a very, very white color. There's no blue to it at all. Um, it's pretty bright. Definitely an upgrade on the standard bulbs. There's the standard. And then there's the LED. Very nice. Now let's see what happens when we turn off and back on. Oh, there you go. Sort of looks a little bit green on camera, which is weird, but it doesn't look like that in person. Um, it's got a slight yellowish tint to it, almost like the standard bulbs. Uh, you can't tell a big difference between the two. It's sort of like it's got a yellowy tinge to it. And then if we go ahead and turn it off again, and back on once one more, we have got a very yellow bulb. Goodness me, that's actually really yellow. You see that? That's almost, haven't drunk enough water today, yellow. That's pretty, pretty yellow. I don't know why you'd use that. I don't even know if that color would be legal, I'll be honest. Um, it might be too yellow to even be legal. So let's go for the last and final function. Off again, on again. And as you can see, we have got a yellow flash. You can imagine at night time, um, like if you had your indicators on as well, and then, uh, that would obviously be flashing and lighting up the whole road, which will definitely give people a good warning that you've broken down or that you're there. Especially if you're in the countryside and you're like along a dark road or something, uh, that would be pretty useful. Now just turned it off and back on again, and we have gone back to the white. Now I don't know how long in between turning it on and off again they change. I don't know exactly how quick you have to be to get it to change colour, uh, so I'm going to do a quick test. I'll turn it on so that they're white. I'll turn them off. And then I'll wait 10 seconds, which I think is a quite a good time. 10 seconds, turn it on, and I'll see if they change. If they don't, then it's obviously a shorter time than that. So if you do want to change the colour, you'll obviously have to do it a lot quicker than 10 seconds. Okay, so we're on. And we're white. I'm going to turn it off. Turn it back on. And so we're white. So you will have to do it quicker than tech 10 seconds. Let's, let's just give it a little test. Let's do five seconds. So off, two, three, four, five, on. Okay, we're still white. So you have to do it even quicker than five seconds. Let's do three. So one, two, three. 
Ah, now we've changed colour. So it seems like you've got about three seconds from when you turn it off to turn it back on for them to actually change colour, which is quite good actually. These bulbs didn't come with any paperwork whatsoever telling me any details about what they do, how they work or anything like that. So I have like zero information on what these things actually do and how they function and all that sort of stuff. So I'm just trying to learn it um, just by doing it at the minute. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the other bulb installed. You don't need to see me do that. And once it gets dark, which it probably will in about an hour or two, I'm going to come back outside and I'm going to cycle through the colours at night time so that you can see how they look at night, see how bright they are, and then we can wrap this video up. Alright, so it's now pretty much dark as you can see outside. It looks lighter on the camera than what it is, um, but it's pretty dark outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what they look like on the Corsa. And whilst I've been waiting, I've had a revelation and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them out of the Corsa and just for the sake of this video, I'm going to put them in my focus um, and then I can show you what they look like actually on the road. I'll, do, I'll go around the block with the LEDs fitted um, so you can see them and then I'll turn the lights on and off so you can see all the different colours actually on the road. I figured it'd be a good idea to show you what they look like in actual proper use with a car on the road. Right, so I've now got the bulbs fitted in the focus. Here's what I'm sitting in at the minute, and I'll just show you. I'll just turn this light out. I'll just show you what they look like all turned on. So this is, this will be the white. That'll come up first. That's the standard colour. As you can see, ridiculously bright. I've got it on the lowest setting, so hopefully they're facing the floor as much as they possibly can be, so I'm not blinding everyone else. That's the more yellowish tint, a little bit more, 4,300K. You then got the real yellow, which is stupidly yellow. And then you've got the yellow flash, which I won't do for too long because I don't want to annoy my neighbours. So what I'm going to do now is I'm quickly just going to do a lap around the block. I'll hold the camera so you can see the lights on the floor. Um, and then I'm going to park up somewhere and just show you the lights shone onto a wall. Please do remember though that these are in reflector housings, not projector housings. Um, this focus hasn't got projectors on it, so just bear that in mind when you see the beam pattern. I tell you what, I feel like such an idiot driving around with uh, LED bulbs. I wouldn't have cared when I was younger, but just knowing that I'm blinding people, it's not much fun, because I know what it's like. You can see the, uh, like the beam pattern's pretty awful, shining almost everywhere. So ignorant. They're not really that bright on the road either, to be fair. They're all right. But they're not, they're not overly bright. They're turning here. And then I'll show you what they look like against this wall. So that's the beam pattern of the white. It's not awful, as you can see, but it ain't great. And then I'm gonna go to the slightly yellow. Still, again, it's the beam pattern that is the problem. It's not the color or the brightness, but the beam pattern is just so scattered. You can see it all up here, there's no sort of definitive line. And then I'll go to the real yellow. They're so, look at the camera. They're even more yellow in person than what they are on the camera. That's so ignorant. The camera doesn't know if they're green or yellow or what they are, um, but they're so yellow. They would be good in the snow, I'll admit. They would be good. Um, and then you've got the flashing, but I'm not even gonna do the flashing because I don't wanna start annoying people. So, I'm gonna have to actually, aren't I? There you go, there's the flash. And then there's the white. Again, super bright, the white. It is very, it's a nice color, it's very white. So there you have it, that is the new Bosler four light LED headlight bulbs. Um, something a little different. I think they claim that they are the first ever four color headlight bulb. Don't quote me on that, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm sure I saw it somewhere. I just wanna give you a quick rundown of what I think of them and also give you a little bit more information on the company and what they're all about. Do I think they're good? Yes, like I keep stressing, if you have projector headlights, these bulbs are fantastic. I love the fact they've got more than one color. And just in case you're wondering, what is the point, you know? What is the point in having white, um, like a mid color and then a yellow and then a flashing? What is the point, you know? Other than being a little bit of a gimmick. Basically, I think the idea is that you can use each different color 
for different types of weather. So you'd use the yellow for just sort of normal driving, normal roads, normal weather, warm weather, whatever it is. And then if you've got fog or if you've got snow, you can then change it so you've got more of a yellow tint because I don't know if you've ever driven in snow or in fog with bright white LED bulbs, but it does absolutely nothing for your vision. If anything, it impedes your vision. And so having the choice of changing it to a slightly yellow tint really is quite useful. I think in the future, most cars will probably come with this as standard because it's a really great feature to have on your vehicle um, just from a safety standpoint. Now I will just tell you that these bulbs are not actually on the market as of yet. What this company is trying to do is they're trying to do a Kickstarter. Now if you don't know what a Kickstarter is, they're essentially trying to make money and fund this idea of a four light changing headlight bulb. They're trying to crowdfund uh, and make money to get their Kickstarter on the go so that they can start producing these bulbs and actually make it a thing. So what I'll do is I'll leave a link to the Kickstarter down below. I think what you can do is you can purchase the bulbs at a discounted price, help them with their Kickstarter and then get them and then get them on the road to having these bulbs uh, fully out there in the shops and everything. So there we go, I'll leave all the stuff in the description down below, the Kickstarter, the link to all their bulbs. They sell other bulbs as well, they do other LED bulbs and all sorts of stuff like that. So go check them out if you wanna have a look. Do I approve of these bulbs? Yes I do. They seem to do what they say on the tin and you you can't ask for much more than that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I apologize that it was another LED install video. I will try not to do one of these for a long, long time, but you gotta understand that companies reach out to me now that I've got this platform and they wanna promote their stuff. It provides me with some content and also I get to share some cool stuff with you like these bulbs. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe for future content and I'll see you guys in the next one.